In this video, I'll take you through the administrative benefits of the Professional Cloud account. Once you've set up your Professional Cloud account and connected a device to the cloud, then you, as administrator, can create and manage multiple users and locations. You can only do this in the Professional Cloud account, so if you do need this level of functionality, make sure you've chosen this account type. Start at your Cloud home page and select the Administration tab at the top or the Quick Links icon. The first tab on the left is Locations. The cloud will allow you to have multiple locations and sublocations in your account. Perhaps you have devices in various buildings and you need to more finely describe the location. Within each building, you may have specific rooms that you wish to identify. All of this is possible in your professional account. For the purposes of this video, I will create a new location, edit an existing location, and archive a location. Firstly, let's create a new one. You will see a main location or account name created automatically when you signed up. This is your top location, where you'll be able to see all loggers registered to your account. To create your first sublocation, select the top location's text and click the Create New Location button. Name the new location, mark its time zone and click Save. To break this new location down further, select it and repeat the previous steps. You can have up to five tiers of locations and as many locations within a tier as you wish. To edit a location's name, select the location and click the Edit Location button. You're now able to change the name as required. Lastly, you may wish to delete or archive a location. Again, select the location and click the Archive slash Delete Location button. You'll be presented with the choice of deleting, archiving or cancelling the action. Clicking either Delete or Archive will prompt an Are You Sure response. Click Yes to perform the required action. If you archive a location, you will see it in your location window marked Archived. Deleting it will mean that it disappears from that window completely. Now let's look at the Users tab. At the top of the window, you'll see your user, which was automatically created when you registered. As administrator for the account, you have all permissions, including the ability to create other users and determine their permissions. Let's go ahead and create a new user. Click the Create New User button. Assign the user a name, enter their email address, confirm and reconfirm their password, and you can also determine which permissions they will have. You may want them to have full permissions, or perhaps they can only look at data but not change any settings. A number of options are available. Clicking Save will trigger an email to the new user, who must validate the link in the next 24 hours. You can also determine which locations they are associated with. This could be just one or several locations. Simply select the user and on the right, click the location you wish to associate them with. Lastly, if you wish to delete a user, simply highlight the user and click the delete button. This will prompt a warning, select delete. 